no gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to, well, not County Line. This is Parker's Prairie. Um, yesterday I did a short little video asking for you guys' opinions as to what map we should play on instead of County Line, or if we should stay there and uh, whatnot else. And the majority of the vote was for uh, Parker's Prairie here, so... Give you guys a quick tour of our equipment, and then we will get started on planting. Um, so here at the house, first off, we have a, uh, a Chevy Trailblazer, and then a uh, Chevy pickup. And then uh, over here we have two Macdon 45-foot grain headers, or Draper headers, I guess you can say as well. Um, in this shed, we have a Western Star, I believe this is a, yes, a Western Star 4900 and a Peterbilt 377, both hooked to, um, 42 foot Wilson hopper trailers. We'll just go ahead and close that door and come in through here. In this shed, we have the corn headers and the, uh, sunflower headers. Uh, the biggest in-game ones that there are. And then we have a Lexion 780 and a John Deere S6. Well, this is supposed to be an S690, but it says S670, I guess, but oh well. Um, we have two International Transtar 2 grain trucks. These are for the Cedars, uh, the big air drills. And then we have two Massey 8737s, uh, both pulling 875 JNMs, uh, one in green and one in blue. And then if we go on into this shed here. Here we have the uh, Thunder Creek FST 995 fuel trailer, uh, fuel and service trailer, I should say. Uh, John Deere 524K payloader and random MFG uh, bucket. Um, this is for moving silage as well as uh, snow. Um, I'll go ahead and we'll close this door now. Cause that's all that's in that shed and then if we run over here we've got here is eight of the uh, 12 grain bins that I placed these are the 300,000 bushel bins or 300,000 liter whatever uh, the backhoe PS 2400 uh, international 845 s backhoe 2085 and then the second diac auger as well um, and then if we run over here here we have the uh, square bale chaser or square bale cart whatever you'd like to call it <clears throat> here we have two John Deere 8970s pulling um, Hudson Bickler setup uh, I don't know uh, the smaller of the two cedar setups from the Big Bud DLC, and then we've got the other four uh, grain bins there. Down in this shed, we have all the uh, tillage tools, uh, four versatile 550s, and four Landall. Jeez, uh, I always forget the numbers on these things. Oh, what's on the back here? Like 74 something or whatever they are, but anyway. Um, and then here we have the Kenworth T600 and the Wilson Step Deck trailer. That's for hauling hay bales. Um, here we have two Kenworth T880s. One is black and white, and the other white and black. Um, and then the Wilson Sprayer Step Sprayer Support trailer, and then the Chandler 24 uh, RDT trailer. 
This is for filling up the uh, Challenger Rogator spreader as well as the uh, two John Deere DB90s. Um, I just realized when I loaded up the save game that I forgot to buy corn planters. So I bought two DB90s and they're sitting down there at the dealership. Um, and I'll just be using the A970s to pull that as well. And then if we run over here, we've got uh, the Lely Butterfly Mower setup, uh, the Kuhn Rake, Challenger, what is it, LB440, LB44B, uh, Square Baler, and then we got the Silo King Mixer Wagon, the Kuhn uh, Bale Shredder, John Deere 7800 with the front loader and the square bale forks or well the bale forks but four square bales here and then another 8737 just with singles rather than duels and then here we have our silage equipment uh, class Orbis 900 class Jaguar 980 uh, two Kenworth T880s with the chopper box mounts and then a Case IH 620 Steiger and a Pitbull blade. So that is all of our equipment. Um, I did buy all the fields. I did cheat in money. <clears throat> um, just because this, you know, this is larger and it'll be nicer to run some bigger equipment. Um, let's see here. So. Field five is planted in grass, so that one's not going to be we're not going to be doing anything with that. Um, so we're going to plant wheat, barley, sunflowers, soybeans, corn, oats, rye, and milo. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight crops. Um, let's see here. One, two. Let's see, what do I not want to plant? Okay, just trying to figure out how I want to do this. Well, let's take a look at some of the prices and just kind of see what the general prices are and see what, uh, what we got here. Sunflowers are pretty reasonable. Uh, we have to do wheat, so that way we have some straw. So let's say we'll do wheat and sunflowers and soybeans. We also have to do corn. Wheat, sunflowers, soybeans, corn. Let's see here again. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we can do six crops. So, okay. One, two, three, four. And then we'll do sorghum and rye. So those are the crops that we will do here. So what we need to do first is we need to get our planters out and refilled. Or filled. I should say not refilled, but filled. So I'm going to run one of them. And we'll let uh, course play run the other one. Okay, so we'll get the C tank opened here. And then we'll fill one of these trucks with fertilizer and the other with seed. I'm not exactly sure what's what over here, so we're going to find out here. Okay, so that is the seed right there. So then under the auger is fertilizer. Now I'm hoping this works. One other time that I tried it, I couldn't get these planters to fill. But... Line. 
I guess we're just gonna have to refill out of this tank, even though it's not exactly the most realistic. This one's almost full here. Okay, so this one's full and ready to rock. So this map, it does have a whole huge amount of grain storage in the silos already, but I still like, I would like to use the grain bins and the augers and whatnot. So, uh, just fill those and then whatever overflow there is can go into the uh, other thing. So now this is the problem that I had before. get this thing to fill up at all. I'm not entirely sure why. I'm sure is there something we can do out here? I'd really, really, really like to use this one and not the seed hawk, but it's not going to work. So let's try fertilizer tank. And let's see if we can put fertilizer in right there. different. I think I might just go with a John Deere. Let's see, that's an 18 meter. Sewing machines. This is 12.8, so that'd be a little smaller. This goes up to 25. I'd really like to use one of these as well. Yeah, we'll just go with these. Because I know that works. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Ooh, not that one. I have a different planter that I want to reset here. There we go, there it is. Okay, so there's one and two. Okay, so we'll go ahead and back this guy on up and get him hooked onto one of these. Okay, maybe not back him up, but we'll go ahead and hook onto one of these John Deere's and 
It is a little smaller, about uh, five and a half meters smaller, but it is uh, still a really great planter. So. So I have the periodic plowing off just for this first season, just so that it, uh, just so that it, because all these fields are cultivated already, and I don't want to have to try and figure out the cultivating whatnot here. And uh, so cool, I got it. Um, so what I'm going to do is turn it off for uh, this first season. And then after harvest, I'll turn it back on. And then we can uh, cultivate a little better then. Or cultivate and plow because of the land alls uh, doing both. So now we'll go ahead and we will fill this up with fertilizer. Sadly, it only goes into one tank. You can't go between the two, but I believe this is still a work in progress, anyways. There, we got one filled up. So, the wheat I want to do fairly close to home. So I think we'll do this in fields. Four, 41, 12, 13, one and 14. Yeah. Um, as you can tell, I don't have my steering wheel. I am at my dad's, so I uh, won't have it with me. But uh, tomorrow's video, I will. Uh, I'll be back home for that. Maybe. Actually, no. Uh, tomorrow's video will still be with uh, with my keyboard here. So we want field four. Up that a meter down. And let's see here. We want to start in the northeast. Oops. Oh, I went by it again. Northeast, and we'll head south with three headlands. I just want to make sure that I have a calculated edge. This field is 21.32 hectares, so fairly good sized. So we're going to set this guy to the first waypoint here. Okay, so he's going to run this. Wait, this isn't field four. This is field two. Whoops. Let's redo this here. Two. Two. Now. Okay. So field four is the one that we will plant. So let's make sure it's field speed. We'll set that to ten. Turn speed to six. Did. F2, 18, 10, wait, no, okay, what is this again? I always forget what this thing is. 19, 10, 18, 90, slash 19, 10, that's what it is. F2, 
F2 Holy smokes, it's too late at night for me to be trying to figure this out. Nineteen ten slash eighteen ninety. Nineteen ten, eighteen ninety. Nineteen ten slash eighteen ninety. There we go. Now we got it. Okay, so now we can hop over to this other one. Take this one over to field four and get started over there. So we are running a pretty fair sized operation on this save game you know, in this series. But fields are fairly good sized. I think they're they're probably somewhat around uh, county line size. Okay, so we will just leave the trucks in the yard for now. We'll just leave them sit right there, and then. Um, Come back and get them whenever we need them. Cause I know the um, I know this guy will stop once he empties. Uh, shoot, that's right. My settings are set to buy. There we go. Now he's gonna use it up. So, um, now, now he'll use up the seed, so he will eventually run out, and this cedar gets dirty really fast. Holy smokes. So now we'll pull this guy up to here. And hop in here. We don't need to be running anymore. Alright, so now field four is this way. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure why I can't refill the, um, that one cedar. I'm, I've seen people fill it with, like, Pallets, but I'm not gonna sit and putz around with that. But uh, we will get dairy cattle eventually. I'm not gonna buy them until the um, planting is all done and whatnot, or until the harvest is all done. Excuse me. Until everything is done. Otherwise, they're just gonna die because we have nothing to feed them. So. You can see there is the uh, hay field, uh, field five. So we got one pretty good sized hay field. Plus there is lots of grass, you know, like right along here, along there. I mean, there is tons and tons and tons of grass everywhere. So we'll be uh, we'll be just fine. We'll be able to get plenty of hay. And we can do multiple cuttings as well if needed, so. So there's our uh, other 
tractor running right there. So then, whoops. Um, I want to calculate a field edge path here. We're going to overwrite that. So well, how big is field 4 here? Or 32.22. So pretty good sized. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get unfolded here. run over here I just want to see I'm curious to see what this guy's running for uh, speed during planting this okay. down to about 10 and we should be good turn it on and we will get planting ourselves Definitely be able to tell which fields uh, I planted and which fields Corsplay planted. Um, I believe I was saying it earlier when I was talking about the periodic plowing. I also set the uh, times that you need to, the amount of times you need to fertilize. I have that set to three. Um, hence the sprayer and the fertilizer spreader. So one. Uh, one round of fertilizer is going down right now with the planters and then uh, we'll let the crops emerge a little bit and then uh, or you know we'll go a couple of days or whatever and then spread fertilizer probably and then go another couple of days and then spray uh, my length is set to nine days so, um, yeah, uh, this is the ground modification, or ground, I think it is, yeah, the ground modification mod or something like that, um, that is making this thing bounce so much, I'm sure, because it's supposed to make the ground, like, make it more realistic or something like that for the ground, I don't know. something I found on the official mod hub so we have uh, let's see we got a field let's see that was 21 and this one is 32 so we got 11 hectares more to plant than uh, course play does so We'll be at our field probably much longer, especially because uh, any time that that guy runs out, we'll be driving the truck to wherever it's at. So, same with whenever we run out as well. But another reason I figured that I would turn the periodic plowing off for now is because to just start off the thing where, because like because most of these fields are you know, in the cultivated state already. It's kind of hard to tell where you have gone and where you haven't. So, I mean, the only way that I'd really be able to do it very well is by using course play. And course play, you know, it would just be running by itself and there'd be nothing to do. So either I'd have to, like, sit and let it run for hours and, uh you know, let it get ahead, or else just turn it off for now, and uh, I figured I'd just turn it off for now, so, so yeah, it'll be, it'll be much easier after harvest is over you'll have all the stubble and all that stuff and be able to tell where you're gone. I think there's only actually like two fields that it shows. Um, let's see here. Oops. Yeah, two fields that it shows where it had been harvested. Everything else is cultivated. So, I mean, everything else is, I mean, it's pretty much impossible to tell. So... 
So the only two things that we can't plant right now are the corn and beans, but we'll get to those. And uh, wow, that's the video already. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm basically going to continue right where I left off in this video. Uh, so tomorrow's video will be right where we stop right here. So. Alrighty guys, that is going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys, and we'll see you tomorrow.